bits and bytes, what we look at in SDD. So data is the most important component in a computer system. Computers were invented to process data and allow us to input and output that data and make it useful information. So we're going to look at the smallest component of data, which is bits and bytes. So what is a bit? A bit is the smallest unit of storage. It's essentially two states, zero or one. So this can be represented as an electrical charge, such as in a CPU, as off or on. And so it'll be off being zero and one being on. On magnetic disks, we would look at north and south magnetism. So zero and one again. And then we'll look at optical disks, where it would show the pits and lands. So zero and one again. So what is a byte? A byte is made up of eight bits. Now with those eight bits combined together, we're able to represent much larger numbers, ASCII, Unicode, hexadecimal, and actual components of software itself. So the example I have there is 01011010. So that binary number there can actually represent 90 as a decimal number, 5a in hexadecimal and uppercase z and so that's why we use a byte as a basis of all storage calculations so in this table here i've given you the name of the different types of bits and bytes their abbreviation their approximate size and their actual size so you can see when we go down the approximate size and the actual size we can see that they differ a little bit. We can see in the approximate size that we look at 1,000, but then when we actually look at the actual size, we look at 1,024. Because we use base 2 for binary, okay, we would look at 1,024 being the most correct. But when we buy things like USB flash drives, hard disk drives, solid state drives, they usually say, one terabyte, two terabytes, half a terabyte or 500 gig, okay? So when we represent it on like labels and such, we do give its approximate size. So when we look at a bit, we can see that its abbreviation is a little b. There is a nibble. Now it's not too important, but it's nice to know. So a nibble doesn't have an abbreviation, but a nibble represents half a byte or four bits. So then we go from a byte to a kilobyte. So again, we're timesing it by a thousand. Megabyte, a thousand again. Gigabyte, terabyte, petabyte, exabyte. And it goes even further. So we're able actually to represent our data and those bits and bytes in different ways. 